Guys, the laser alpha is near completion. Just the front and rear swing arms to put on, redo the shocks and then add the electrics again and she'll be back out on the road and on the dirt. Really looking forward to that. This car has a really special place for me so I am super stoked to get it back out running again. The first run back which I filmed a few months ago when I first started the channel. You can see the video up in the top corner now. Boom. That didn't go massively well. So let's hope the rest though fixes it. But anyway, let's go over to the bench and get those swing arms on, shall we? Let's get into it, guys. Super excited. Alright guys, I'm getting ready now to attach the rear end to my Kyosho Laser Alpha. I just put the spur gear back on, the new one, and I put the original pinion back on, I decided, because the um, slightly larger one didn't really fit. I have also been cleaning up the parts, the, all the plastic parts for the rear end have been siliconed up and are ready for a little bit of a wipe off and all of the metal parts are degreased and cleaned and ready to go. So I am going to now start installing. Let's get into it. Guys, don't forget, subscribe and smash the bell. Alright guys, the first thing I need to do is prep some of the parts for reinstallation. These need to go back onto the rear shock tower. And I need to put these ball ends here on the rear shock tower and on these rear uprights. Alright guys, rear shock tower is prepped. All bits are on it. And rear uprights are prepped. Let's get those and these on this. Alright guys, now we're going to put this onto the back. Let's crack on with it. Four screws. Done. All right, guys, now it's time to reinstall the rear swing arms just got to make sure that this little bit here goes to the back that's where the shock attaches and it goes onto here like thusly so first up on both of them Sit them on the car and we attach this bit to the very back which holds the pins in place and I'll move my finger yeah that bit there all right guys we've got both swing arms in place and it's I've got to turn it upside down and put the screws in from underneath so I will do that bit off camera and then come straight back all right guys, screws are attached to the underside of the chassis there. Rear swing arms are on. Now what we need to do is we need to install the risers on each side. And with this you need to make sure that the ball 
is on the inside to match the ball on the inside of the shock tower first up I'm going to put the oops don't drop it I'm going to put the bearings back in these there's one on the front of each one and one to go in the inside of each one all right guys bearings installed in both uprights on the inside and the outside what I also do is I just run a little bit of this stuff here it's just some basic three-in-one oil to onto the um, bearings just to give them a bit of lubrication because I don't really use um, only needs a tiny drop that'll do another tiny drop done all right now these are ready for installation and it's just a matter of grabbing one of these screws that is a that's got a bit of thread and then flat there we go and then it's just a matter of screwing that in I will now go and do the other side and then we'll get back with the dog bone information alright guys next up what we need to do is we put the these cups into the rear uprights like so spins nicely then we put one on the other side as well the angle right there we go <laughs> all right all right guys next bit is pretty straightforward just put the dog bone into here and then we take our upright and whoops I've got drops here tonight upright and clip it onto those two balls and we're done so I'll do that off camera because that's boring all right guys we now have both of the rear swing arms attached working quite nicely yeah rear swing arms now on next up will be the front swing arms I will just spin this guy around because I'm just spinning it on that is like <laughs> hit and miss yeah so next will be the front swing arms and then the steering assembly all right guys the front's a little bit more complicated because we have to deal with the front king pins so we have the yeah the king pins go into the c cups like that and then we put the c cups onto the swing arms being a little bit naughty but we put the c cups under the swing arms like like that all right guys first we need to prep each kingpin for its steering linkage with a pillow ball so pillow ball onto kingpin first up all right guys both kingpins now have their pillow balls attached next we need to put ball ball bearings on the outside of each and the inside portion of each Alright guys, both ball bearings are now installed on each one and oiled up. Both sides have them. So next, we attach kingpins to these C-hubs. 
Right guys, before we install the king pins onto these C hubs here, we need to put in this hole here and this hole here a pillow ball that's to attach the top swing arm on the front of each. Alright guys, pillow balls are attached to both C hubs now. Now we put the king pins onto the C hubs. And we do that using these screws. Now interestingly it's two of these screws that I was missing that I had to replace with big fat ones on the bottom when I used to race them. So the proper ones are going to be going on the bottom and the top now so it's going to be completely properly built and restored using the right parts that's what I was after with this build we're getting there guys alright guys both C hubs and kingpin assemblies have now been complete they are looking pretty good working nicely so next up we need to do we need to put these assemblies onto the swing arms like so and then the swing arms can go we can actually either put the swing arms on the car first and then put these uh, these hub assemblies on which I'll probably do make it a bit easier to get the get the swing arms on Alright guys, next up, front swing arms on to the front of the car. Alright guys, I've now installed the front lower swing arms. Now it's time to put on these drive cups for the front with the C hubs. So that whole setup on both sides, they just basically go on like so with a screw through the middle so I will do that now alright guys front swing arms and assemblies for the drive cups, the king pins and the C hubs are all installed on the car and working nicely very happy, the only thing left to do now before the um, shocks get done and of course the electrics have to go in is to reinstall the steering system which is a pretty easy task so we'll get on to that next and then I'll cut back once I've installed that and then all of the main stuff will be installed and we'll be ready to just look at the shocks in the next video but guys we are I've been saying this a few times now but we are definitely getting there and I've got to tell you this thing is looking almost as shiny as the day that I got it it looks really good I'm so happy with this rebuild and restoration using new parts to, to get everything back the way it was supposed to be I am really excited about this because this car is as I said at the beginning really special to me so alright no more waffling let's get this steering stuff in and get back to you alright guys I have now attached all of the servo all of the steering linkages they're all on this now works we have steering which is really really cool it seems to be working a lot freer than what it was before I've also reattached the front bumper so pretty much now guys 
everything is on the car except for the electrics and the shocks the shocks I'm going to do in the next video and the electrics I'll put on last so I'm super super stoked at the way this is going car is looking great shocks to come guys in the next video that's it for this one though but check it out looks good and all shiny I like it oh awesome guys her swing arms are on and she is looking awesome gorgeous car nearly there in the next video I'll throw the shocks on well I've got to revamp them first but then throw them on then we'll put the electrics in and hopefully very soon it's first restored running video wow looking forward to that but anyway guys I will wrap it up there thanks for watching I really appreciate it if you've stayed to the end you're a legend and guys we're now over a hundred subscribers woohoo awesome I appreciate every single one of you but if you haven't subscribed yet or if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and smashing on that bell it'd be so great next stop 200 guys anyway I'll wrap it up there I'm Matt at RC Chronicles catch you later guys